So here we're going to find the angle theta so that the theta is in between of pi over 2 to pi, and we also want to have sine of theta is equal to 1 over square root of 2. First, we have to remember the definition of sine. Of course, right? This right here is the same as saying y over r. And from here, we can say, let's go ahead and take y to be 1 and r to be square root of 2. And then we will be able to come up with a picture of a reference triangle, right? And be sure that we answer the question carefully. We want theta to be in between of pi over 2 to pi only. So let's focus on what exactly we have to do. So let me draw a picture right here. First of all, of course, we know this is the x-axis, that's the y-axis. And another thing I want to emphasize is that here is 0 radians, which is 0 degrees, same thing, right? And this is 90 degrees, which is the same as pi over 2. And then here is pi, and then here is 3 pi over 2, and then 2 pi, and so on. Because the question indicates that we want the angle to be in between of pi over 2 to pi, we want this portion only, right? Quadrant 2 only. Anyways, now let's see why it's equal to 1. r is equal to square root of 2. Let me draw why it's equal to 1 first. So we know y value is 1 is about right here. Let me just say. So let me just draw 1 like this. I'm going to draw the reference triangle for you guys, right? So let me say here is my y is equal to 1. And for the r being square root of 2, that means we go from the origin to that point here. And the r is square root of 2. And you see, you have to remember the special triangles. We have 1 square root of 2 already. This is 1, 1, isn't it? So you can say that this is also 1. 1, 1 square root of 2, the ratio of the sides of the 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. OK, so that means from here to here, the reference angle is pi over 4. That's a 45 degrees, right? 45 degrees, OK? At the end, that's not the answer, though. Because that's just the reference angle, right? Be sure, when you measure angle, you go from here, the past the x-axis, all the way to the terminal side, like that. And now, it depends on how you want to do it. You can convert this into degrees and then just figure out this is 45. So that means this will also be 45. We have to go from 90 and then plus 45, which is 135. 135 degrees, and you convert that into uh, gradients, that's okay. Another way to do it is that you see the whole thing is pi, right? The whole, all the way from here to here is pi. This is pi over 4 already. The blue part, which is the angle theta, it's going to be, let me just write it, it will be pi minus pi over 4. And if you do it this way, you will see you will have to get the common denominator because pi is the same as saying, Okay, I had to get the common denominator 4, right? So I multiply the 4 on the bottom and 4 on the top. Pi was the same as 4 pi over 4. And now you can see that 4 pi minus 1 pi, which is 3 pi. And then the denominator stays the same, right? So we have 3 pi over 4. Oops, 3 pi over 4. Right here. And this is how you can get it. Theta is equal to 3 pi over 4. Four, and this is the answer for it. Okay, and just real quick, another way to do it, if you want to do it this way, is that you see this right here was forty-five degrees, right? So that means from here to here is ninety plus forty-five. So all together is one hundred thirty-five degrees, and that's the angle theta. And from here, theta equals to 135 degrees. You convert this into radians on your own right here. So you multiply by pi over 180 degrees, so the degree degrees will cancel. And you can just reduce uh, this right here with a calculator, or just do it by hand or something. 135 over 180, you also end up with 3 over 4. And then you put a pi right here, right? So depending on which way that you prefer. You can do a subtraction with the pi and things like that. We can just convert to degrees and then convert into uh, radians after that.
Anyways, that's it.